the strangest thing happened last night. We we're driving through Northern California and we came across a town known as Petaluma. Decided to call it a night and we pulled into this really creepy hotel that turned out to be haunted. The night got stranger because as we slept, there was this creepy sound coming from the closet, as well as this glowing greenish blue light. Both Jessica and I got up, a little scared, walked into the closet and we found this box by Paragon FX Group. And look at it, see what it says right there? Goonies Adventure Set. Now I'm not gonna lie, both Jessica and I were a little scared, but we opened the box and this is what we found. Upon closer inspection of this mysterious box from Paragon FX Group, we found this map. And I feel like we've seen this somewhere in the past, somewhere from our childhood. Pretty realistic looking. Along with the map, the box came with these two pieces of Goonies artifacts, which can only mean one thing, baby ghoul. We're in for an adventure. First and foremost, we want to say thank you to Paragon FX Group for sending us this Goonies Adventure Kit. It is pretty freaking amazing, and if you want to get it yourself, the links to where you can buy it is in the description below. Because of them, and this wonderful map that they sent us, basically it has led us to a place known as Goat Head Beach here in California. And this place might look familiar because the very end of the movie, The Goonies, was filmed here. In fact, right over here out in the water is where you see One-Eyed Willie's ship go out into the ocean. There's got to be a treasure of some kind here buried in the sand, and we're going to find it. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at Cauldron Point and what appears to be a pirate ship. Pirate ship. Before we begin this adventure, if you haven't seen the video we did on the filming locations to the Goonies, do yourself a favor and watch it. The link is in the description below. We got the map and we got a few other things to help us. This should be fun. All right, baby ghoul, you've been studying this map for quite some time. Any clue as to where we're supposed to be heading first? I'm certainly no expert at this, but I think we have to go that way. Let's do it. Forget it, come on! Guys! I think I have Well, it looks like the very first place that we need to go is right over here by this giant rock, which believe it or not, is an actual location, a filming location from the Goonies. Yeah, this is it. Definitely a filming location from the movie The Goonies. And in fact, this scene right here, you can see two people on quads like ATVs driving into frame towards right where I'm standing. A lot has changed, but the rocks still look the same, including that little swoop right there on that rock face. All right, baby ghoul, we found the first location. You know, if you wanted to, you could probably become a professional map reader. Where's the next location? Over there! Past those rocks and that weird, creepy bird on the rock? <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's do it. Wait a second. These rocks look familiar, don't they? Well, they should. Because at the very end of the movie, Mikey and the gang and everybody can be seen sitting on these rocks right where Jessica is, looking out over the ocean, watching One-Eyed Willie's ship come out from behind the rock face and out into the sunset. 
Well, it turns out for this video, we really don't need this. But if you're a fan of the movie, The Goonies, this is really nice to have. And it's really heavy, so good job, Paragon Effects Group. Now, with everybody sitting on the rock watching One-Eyed Willie's ship go out into the ocean, this right here is the view that they would have had. Now, I know there's a lot of fog and there's a lot of mist, but if I were to zoom in to right about the center of your screen, you can see that rock formation way out there in the ocean. You see it? It has that hole through it. You can see that clear as day as they look out over the water. Now, just a heads up, it is pretty darn cold here. Barely even 60 degrees. But right where Jessica is sitting, do you remember this baby goal? When we were here last time, there was a baby seal that came out of the water. It was right down in that area right there. And we sat here for quite some time watching it. All right. You've been looking at the map still. Where are we going next? Further down the beach? All right. Onward we go. Oh yeah, baby. Goonies never say die. There's a nice little pathway that goes down to the beach. Last time we were here, there was a whole bunch of people here. But not today. This is actually kind of nice. I feel like we have the entire beach to ourselves. Man, this is beautiful. This is, this is otherworldly. I think we're almost there. We just had to keep going a little further. Do you remember the last time that we were here, we came across this weird stuff? We didn't know what it was at the time, but because of you guys who are watching the video pointed out that it was called bull kelp. B-U-L-L-K-E-L-P. I wonder if we're gonna see any of that again. Well, we've been noticing a lot of driftwood art on the beaches every time we come out here to do videos. Uh, John Carpenter's The Fog, The Goonies. I feel like we've did another one. Don't know if this is locals doing this or if this is, you know, people coming out, different tourists. But they are pretty neat. There was one that we went to, I think it was the fog video, where you can actually crawl inside this, this weird house-like hut. Yeah, I think it was the fog one. I don't think we mentioned this last time whenever we did the actual Goonies filming location video, but about 15 to 20 miles down the coastline, like south, is Bodega Bay where Alfred Hitchcock filmed the birds. So, same universe, what do they call it, like a multi-universe of horror and nostalgia, the Goonies and Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds are filmed so close to each other. I'll take it. Well, this is it. The exact location that the map was pointing us to. And wouldn't you know it? It's a filming location to the movie The Goonies. In fact, you see that split in that rock right there? You can see that in the movie as the Goonies walk right towards right where I am standing. And then way off in the distance, you see that mountain range? That's the same mountain range that you can see One-Eyed Willie's ship come out from behind out into the water. How cool is this? Well, I'll be damned. It's them goobers. They were here a minute ago. Then that means the treasure, what we've been searching for this entire video, is buried around here somewhere. It's here somewhere, it's gotta be. Baby go, I think this is it. The map points to this exact location, which means, well, I'll be darned. Look at that, look what we just found. <laughs> Crudely buried in the sand here at Goathead Beach, where they filmed the final scenes of the movie The Goonies. It says Doc Martin's airwear. Huh. That's interesting. Let's get these out of the sand. And get a better look at this. Whoever left these here, this is our newfound treasure. Can I get any more cheesier than that? Let's see here. 
Oh my freaking word. They're the, the Goonies boots that Doc Martens put out with a officially licensed Warner Brother footwear. Well, let's get a closer look at these. From the moment I saw them on social media, I wanted them badly. And Jessica and I both got on the website and we ordered them. And I'm glad we did because they were really hard to find in my size. I got big feet, so size 13 is what I wear. But look at them. That is, they're beautiful. I kind of don't want to wear them, but I kind of do. They come with brown shoelaces and black shoelaces, but I like the brown because it kind of gives that whole treasure feel to it, doesn't it? And then this is all textured. You can see the, it says the Goonies there, as well as some different skulls and bones. And I love these little dangly things. Look at that. There's that one there. It goes right in the shoelaces. There's the back side of it. And then there's a metal one right over here. See it? Man, that's beautiful. And then the box itself is cool. Let's lift that lid so you can see it better. What a find. Who would have thought that, that these would have been found buried on the beach from the end of the movie, The Goonies? And check this out. On the back side of the boot, right above the heel, never say die on both feet. Man, that's cool. Truth be told, we didn't find these on the beach. And we didn't get them for free. We actually bought these and came out here and dug. We tried to trick you. See what I mean? Hollywood movie magic. Poorly done, but Hollywood movie magic. But if you want to get these, I don't even know if they're still available. Doc Martens, check out their website. I'm sure you can probably find them used or somebody reselling them for quite a bit. But also the Goonies Adventure Kit from Paragon FX Group is exquisite. Check it out, get yourself some, come all the way out here to Northern California and go on an adventure of your own. You won't regret it. Goonies never say die. And before we close out the video, here's a closer look at what you get inside the Goonies Adventure Kit from Paragon FX Group. Definitely one of the coolest things we've ever gotten in the mail. Thank you so much. And with that being said, thank you for joining us on another grim Goonies adventure brought to us by Paragon FX Group. Only 1,500 of these were made, so if you want it, go to their website and check it out. And until next time, happy Halloween. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a